Hello! I'm doing a flip through today. I was hoping for it to be even more perfect, but as it always does, time marches on. It's like 9 p.m. and I just need to film this. So I'm going to try to make some new um, dividers in here, like between editing and rendering and all that. Um, and if that happens, then you'll get to see them tomorrow. But in the meantime, that shouldn't change the order of things or what I have in here. So let's take a look. I am back in my file effects Malden, color stone, size pocket. Um, it feels really good to be back in here. Things just feel normal again. I think it was good for me to have a couple of weeks of trying out different things, but I, I feel at home in here and it's good. It, it's very good. So let's take a look. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way, a better way to keep my pen in here. It's never worked out perfectly. I've done keeping the pen in here. I've done keeping the pen here, which is what I'm doing currently. I've had a binder clip, but that keeps falling out. If anyone has a solution that's like a decent pen loop um, that goes well with the pocket file effects, like let me know, comment below, send me a link or something, because I would be willing to try any sort of weird product. Bonus points if it's something that can fit like three or four pens, because I have like a couple highlighters that I'd like to keep with. In any case, uh, I've got some change back in the front here, so it's all jingly and thick, um, but this is going to be what I'm taking with me to Comic-Con, so I need to have all my wallet stuff all in one place. So there's change in the front, driver's license and a credit card in the first pocket here. The second pocket currently just has my little plastic tabs from Daiso. Then the third pocket is empty. In the back, I have my Comic-Con pass right now, so I don't forget it. I have a spare check and then I need to find my wallet. I thought I had it. It's, it's around here somewhere and it has a little bit of cash, but I'm going to get more cash anyway, so that'll be in the back. Then slip to the back pocket. I currently still have this guy. Um, I may not bring this with me though if I change my dashboards because it won't match. But this little um, Winnie the Pooh has my date washi, which is fun. And I think that's it that's in here. And then this back pocket has still my little Twin 16 samplers because they're cute and they're small and they fit and I find reasons to use them. I think I need to place another order there and get another sampler. I still have a code to use too, so. Um, so like I said, all of these laminated Winnie the Pooh dividers and these invisible tabs, uh, these are all gonna be replaced, I think, if I have time tomorrow or tonight, but the, like I said, the sections will still be the same. So the first section here, as my context list, I changed the categories. Before it was like phone and planner were the first two, I changed them to five minutes and anywhere. The five minutes is supposed to encourage me to just do some of these things that I've been putting off that really wouldn't take that long. If it's something that I can do in five or you know, 10, whatever, at a stretch, or at least do part of in five minutes, I'm putting a mark there. So that does mean that some of my categories overlap a little bit. One of them here, tidy desk. It's a job that takes more than five minutes, but I should be able to do a little bit of it in five minutes. So I put it in both the five minutes and the house category. I'm hoping that this will be encouraging, but I haven't really had time to worry about it yet and to find out yet because this week I'm like, this isn't my focus this week because we're leaving on Wednesday and we're going to be out of town for the rest of the week. So like today and tomorrow is just packing and getting the last minute things out of the way. So I'm not even worrying. Um, then I've got my bra tracker. I promised I was going to do a full video on this. I don't know if it'll be this month, next month. Someday there will be a video, but basically I just track which bras I'm wearing so that I know when to wash them. Um, and this is the, um, what's it called? You know where I list what each symbol means? Because I'm using like more bras in rotation than I used to. This is my NFP chart. I mentioned this yesterday, but I printed it at 60%. It was letter size. I printed it at 60% and it ended up fitting in here. Um, and it's still like I write pretty small, so it works pretty well. And that way I don't have to worry about moving data back and forth. It's just there. I moved my monthly into the front section. Um, I'm going to try something slightly different for next month's monthly, I think, 
don't hold me to that, but I think. In any case, my idea for this front section is to flip through it once every day. So this will get me to check my tracker every morning at least, or once throughout the day at least, so I can start tracking stuff. Obviously, I wasn't tracking the first two weeks because I was in a different planner. I'm not worrying about that, but I'm starting from here on. And then there's a waiting on list and a someday maybe list. They're the same. Next section is just future planning. So we have my future log, my 2020 future log, my beyond that future log, and then this is my birthdays and anniversaries and reoccurring tasks. The idea is I generally will take these and move them to my monthly. So I only need to check this section once every month. Then the next section is weeklies. I'm not currently using it this week. I mentioned this yesterday, um, but I printed out and I cut and uh, punched these inserts. These are from my summer touch and I'm gonna be using these next week and the week after. So 22nd and the 29th, these two weeks. Um, so I'm excited to try that out for at least two weeks. See how I like it. These are really cool. It's a week on two pages. And then this next section is for dailies, or in this case, Comic-Con. Um, this is another insert from my Summer Touch. I believe it's called a week on six pages, but it's like a fold out. So I explained this yesterday, but this uh, two column day is supposed to be for the weekend. But since Monday, Tuesday are the odd days out, um, I'm using them here. And I use my date washi and I'll cover it up all the top. So hourly planning and then a little bit of space at the bottom for a couple of to do's. I just put stuff as I thought of it. And then the overflow really is this before you go checklist, which is just anything I think of that I want to get done today, tomorrow. Obviously, I'm not very far on the list, but we'll see. Oh, these are some notes I took for um, the dividers that I'm going to be making. Just some math. And then I already, I took the shopping list that I had put in my uh, Clever Fox. I just put it on a little jot pad. Um, they're a little bit longer, so I was able to highlight the end and now it kind of looks like a bookmark. See, it sticks out the edge. Um, so this is the stuff I want to get at Comic-Con. And then there's extra blank paper here, or grid paper, for other spreads of things if I need it for while I'm there. Notes, I guess. Anything for Comic-Con is going to go here. The next section is like projects slash reference. It's kind of a general hodgepodge of stuff. Um, this is the next little bit of the backyard that we're working on. This is where we have a tree and we're going to put like some bark and I need to get some stones and stuff and I'm just taking some notes uh, on that. This is a list of things I need to declutter around the house. Actually, you know what? I did one of these. Rock on Rebecca. Uh, this is a sort of weekly cleaning schedule that I never stick to or have not so far. These are all the library books that I've checked out with their due dates. So this is where I am now. And then this is um, a sticky note with some books that I'd like to check out someday. So it's just there. These are game notes here, here and here. And then um, my I haven't updated my debt and savings trackers in a while but it's there. Gift ideas and wish list are also still there. I remade my to watch list. It used to be called to binge, which was weird. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown you this version yet, but here it is. I redid it because it was getting unwieldy and had a lot of stuff that I had decided not to watch. So I just remade it. Then I also did the same with this, but I haven't used it yet. This is the topics of serious night spread which I did a video about on Valentine's Day. You can see that here. Um, I kind of talked about what this is for. Then this um, little divider picture here was denoting the section of inserts for the baby, but I wasn't really using them, so I took them out. This is still just here. And then this little section, I haven't really showing you too much of this, I don't think, because it's kind of personal. I'm going to review, I, I would like to review this sometime. Um, this is another My Summer Touch insert. It's a monthly goal spread. So I'm just going to really quickly 
it's got like some questions to go through on what your goal is, a sort of worksheet of how you define your goal. And then it has like every week, um, I'll show you here, like a tracker, start and end um, like numbers. So you can see like percent done and percent left, a, list of, a checklist of things to do. And then also like a review of like you can journal about how it went, answer some questions about how you feel things are going, continue, yes, no. Um, and then it also comes with these blank like grid pages that kind of go with it. So you can print it out um, as a uh, traveler's notebook insert and you would have all these pages in the back. Um, as it is with the rings, it's basically just a bunch of note paper and you can add more or take it away. Um, but I'm using this for my monthly goal of like the daily videos that I'm doing so I'm not really going to show you too much of it because I don't really like showing off my YouTube planning too much but um, that's what I'm using this for. It's a really cool insert. I haven't gotten the most out of it yet because I just moved back in and I've only really looked at it like today in depth. Um, so someday I would like to show you that in more depth. Um, go ahead and comment below to encourage me to do that. This next section, oh this is the actual YouTube section. Um, so again, like this is my list of videos. Um, these are, these stickers are from Twin 16. They used to be in the back pocket, but I punched them so that they would all fit in here. And I think that works really well because I know exactly where they are and they don't get dinged up because they're not in a pocket, they're just on rings. And it works out well. Um, video ideas, video planning, uh, some other things that are, yeah, for for my branding stuff, kind of. This section is for my Hogwarts. There's not that much in here right now, but it's got its own section because it's historical. That's how it's always been. <laughs> um, this is the year calendar, of like what year is in which month. My weekly to-do list, um, with you stuff, and notes for projects related to myhogwarts.com. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you should check it out. And then I remade the, like I filled out two whole brain dump pages and finally cleared those out and um, replaced it with a new blank one. And then here's the blank paper in the back. I've got like some lines, uh, like checklists, some grid paper, some colorful line paper, this Filofax to-do list, which like, I don't know. <laughs> and then a couple of things with stickers on them, jot pads, some more stickers, washi tape, don't look at my credit cards, please. And then that's it. I've got this pocket in the back um, with nothing in it. And then that's it. So there's the flip through. And it <laughs> feels like it's been a while since I made one of these, but I think it's only been a month. Um, I will be, I guess, showing you more of this as we go on. I'm not planning on moving again. Um, for the rest of the month, I'm going to be back in here. So this is what I'm bringing with me to the convention. And uh, you will get to see all of that as I post daily vlogs. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell and follow me in the places that are all in the description. And I'll see you there. All right. Have a good one. Bye.